Hey guys, a while back I rode around New York City, starting at Brooklyn, the new wheel, and now I'm in San Francisco at the Faraday headquarters. Uh, just checking out one of their newer bikes. Actually, it's right over here. This is the founder, Adam Vollmer. How's it hey. going, buddy? Uh, I'm excited to go learn about uh, bicycle and e-bike advocacy in the city. We'll be riding some of these bikes. Just wanted to call out the, the Civic here. This is like a special edition I'm going to be reviewing and just kind of get out there. You guys are, we're starting off, where is this? What, what neighborhood are we in? We're in Soma. Soma, um, south, south of Market. South of Market. Oh yeah, right. buddy. So Soma has been a cool neighborhood to be a bike brand for a long time because it's very bike friendly. They're everywhere Flat, out there. Yeah. Lots of bikes, bike lanes. But we're gonna go see the Bike Coalition today. And what's cool is the Bike Coalition, the SF Bike Coalition, has been doing an amazing job of putting in more bike lanes all throughout the city. So you don't only have to ride in the Soma, you can go anywhere. Yeah. Um, and if you ride here, it's safer. You've got better infrastructure. You'll see it when you ride today. It's really amazing. All about that. PS Thousand, right. is this some some helmet? I noticed you guys have a lot of them, like a fashion line kind Tom, of thing. What can you tell us about? about yeah, Thousand is just good friends of ours. We've worked with them on a couple projects now, and we're actually about to start retailing helmets on our site soon too. Sweet, yeah. well, it's beauty all over the place. Let's get out there. Wait, we just walked the bikes out. We're in the alley. Lead on. Off you go. So this is Thomas, by the way. Thomas, what's your what's your title here? Head of marketing. Head of marketing. Yeah. Fantastic. Got Adam pulling up from behind. Sweet. This is a great day for a bike ride tour. I love it. Really beautiful out here. I love it. I'm gonna go right here. Okay. We haven't gotten to ride bikes in too long, man. No, it's been a while. Go check out the new electric oh. scooters right zipping here. by. Look at that. Is that uh, like you train in San Francisco? Is this the bird or what is no, this? That actually is Lime. Uh, I think it's. I think the brand is just called Lime. Lime. Yeah. You just pick them up wherever and. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, we got the Google car up there doing the Google Maps. Yeah, it's such a driving cars and scooters and e-bikes, just everything. One wheels. <laughs> One wheels, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's kind of like this melting pot of transportation right now. It's um, it's it's interesting. I love these lanes too. So this is amazing, right? Like the bright green lanes. This is all really new in the last six or so months. And like protected with the little protected, separated. I mean, it just makes a world of difference riding up and down. So this is 7th, 8th goes that way. They've got a matching one over there. Yeah. So you can ride like all throughout this part of the city, just like in your own lane. You've got these little like, these little left turn boxes are really cool. So if you're riding down, you see Folsom. Yeah. Also has the bike lanes here. Beautiful. So it's just a seamless experience to ride through it. And it, I think- And kind of old and new architecture too. I'm seeing, what's that big like new building? That's the, what's the city, the city building. Um, the what? One of the city buildings, so it's a bunch of um, kind of city offices, um, municipal stuff, but a really cool, it's a, a LEED certified eco building. Nice. It's got a lot of passive cooling in there. LEED certified, gotta love that. The trees and stuff. Gotta do a fender test here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bikes are definitely the way to get around. You got the traffic over there. Kind of yeah, stopped up. Yeah, you can up. see it firsthand right here, right? These poor, poor folks stuck in just, just terror. I mean, this is even like, yeah, it's so noon just, right now. It's yeah. noon, just in like three hours, this is just gonna be like your worst nightmare. Great but in the bike lane, you're good to go. Yeah, completely open. Oh, Look at open, all these so. people. And you got some folks <laughs> there. These are Faraday's. Yeah, they're electric. They got a little motor in the front and stuff. Are you guys from here? No. no we're here. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh boy. What school? UT Austin. Coding school. UT Austin? Austin. We're from UT Austin. We're here doing coding. Love it. Yeah, I used to live in Austin. Really? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Have a good ride, you guys. <laughs> Sweet. Gosh, lovely weather. It's around rush hour court. It's the most satisfying thing because you can just fly down 7th on your way back up to Market to catch BART. Yeah. If you're going back to the East Bay, for example, 
these cars are just sat here and mind-numbing traffic. And I love the easy start, right? Like when you have an electric assist, stopping isn't such a big deal. Yeah. Just yeah, like totally. zip right back up to speed. Not as much incentive to uh, to run lights and stuff. To run lights. It's super easy. And then those, are those like the electric uh, city share bikes that Ford was doing That's or something? Right, yeah, the Ford Go Bike e-bikes they just recently introduced. It's, it's neat. About a month ago, yeah. Like one of the first electric like bike share programs I've known, known about yeah, it's, in the US. it's fantastic. And yeah, we've just seen a lot more awareness about e-bikes in general because of them. So we're super excited for it. Cool. A good example of what not to do here for Coca-Cola. What's going on? Oh yeah, our We're bike lane is blocked. We'll have, have to drink a Pepsi next time. That's right. Come on, Coca-Cola. Diversity friendly, San Francisco. Appreciate that. Oh boy. Sweet. This Market Street here in SF, and uh, just be short ride down to the bike hole, which great. Oh, and there's the Capitol building. A lot of people get married there. Yeah, City Hall. Or City Hall, not the Capitol building. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they took like bids for you know reconstructing that after the earthquake and the fire, and they went with like the highest bid. And, and I don't know, the mayor or something was like, yeah, just, just wait for it. And now there's all these weddings and stuff and it's like way more than paid for itself. Yeah, huh. Kind of an interesting strategic play. I didn't know there was that, the business model was there for it. I don't know if it was, if yeah. It was intended or not? I, that's, an, that's a good point, I don't really know. Uh, but I do remember going and touring it. It's really beautiful. You doing okay back there, Adam? Good, man. Just got off a flight from Asia, so yeah. you're really holding it together. I haven't slept in 18 hours. <laughs> feeling alive. Right, get the blood flowing, like buddy. like a bike ride to wake you up. Yeah. And four cups of coffee. That's right, that's right. I see the the rainbow flags here. Are we near like... Uh, Castro? Castro? No, not quite. Not quite? Just friendly everywhere, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure. It must be Pride Week. It is. I'm not sure what the time on is, but it must be, must be close. Castro is basically like a mile that way. So up and over a big hill up there and then you'd be right in Castro. That's right. They got like the rainbow crosswalks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Love it. <laughs> One of the things we could talk to the, the coalition about is there's a lot of people that are calling for a pedestrian only zone here on market. Huh. Um, to try to get rid of as much of this traffic. It's still pretty bad, especially during rush hour. Even with these bike lanes, it can be pretty pretty scary for a lot of people who are just getting started into biking. Yeah, I love the protected design, but you're right. Lot, yeah. There's still a lot going on here sometimes. A lot, of, a lot of pretty gnarly intersections that could be intimidating to first time riders. Yeah. Is that Uber's headquarters? Yeah. Oh, nice. You got the, maybe the BART? Still going straight? Yep, just one more block up. Sweet. Charlie. Someone was saying there's a fund to like bury these wires, uh, but that the cost of doing so continues to rise uh, faster than like the tax rate collection or something. Hmm. What's that hill up there? You guys know? What is that? Uh, so that's, so Twin Peaks is just to the right of that. That's Diamond Heights. Cool, cool. But Twin Peaks, you'll see the um, Mount Sutro, which is kind of a, like the local landmark. Okay.
So even the buses are electric, yeah? Yeah, I think they're, they're at least zero emission. I'm not sure if they're full electric. Bicycle Coalition. Oh. Okay, so Chris Cassidy. What's up? With the Bike Coalition. Yes, sir. So what What do you do? Like, what's the... Uh, I'm communications director or spokesperson, so okay. I make sure that we talk pretty about how we're going to fight for more <laughs> and better bike lanes all over San Francisco. Yes, and look, is this the Lumos helmet that yeah, you've got here? It looks safety, like the lights and stuff. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. And we've we've noticed all these green pathways and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just lead in. What, what's going yeah, on here we in San Francisco? Shout out for all the good work you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Up, so we'll, well, I mean, all the credit really goes to our 10,000 plus members. Um, the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, I am so lucky to have the job of being able to connect members with what they're passionate about, which is improving the safety and enjoyability of biking in San Francisco. Yeah. So uh, we're here at the office on 1720 Market Street today. Sweet. Um, really cool campaign that I'm super excited about that affects this street in particular is Better Market Street. Okay. We're fighting for physically protected bike lanes all the way from the Embarcadero, yeah. 2.2 miles up to this intersection here at Octavia. And just past Octavia, you can actually see we just won protected bike lanes connecting Octavia to the DeBose bikeway. Huh. Um, so those feel really awesome. They were just put in, gosh, maybe like two, three months ago now. Uh, and it's the kind of thing that whether you're eight years old or 80 years old, you can feel comfortable biking in those uh, bike lanes. And this means like, so there's the green paint, but then actually having those little plastic posts. Yes, yeah, so up there they've got uh, plastic posts delineating the bike lane from faster moving traffic lanes in parts, um, but also a loading zone. And huh. uh, what's really exciting is uh, sometimes when you put in, say, parking or a loading zone, people don't always put their vehicles in the right places and maybe obstruct the bike lane. Yes, uh, we had that. There was a Coca-Cola yeah, truck on the way, the way yeah. here. <laughs> you, you've, I'm, if, if you bike in San Francisco, you've seen that, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, another, you know, we've we got it going on right here on Valencia Street. There's a, a Bear Republic uh, delivery truck blocking the bike lane. Yeah, love the beer, uh, but don't love when they do that. Yeah, <laughs> can, we, can we get the beer without the double parking? That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but we're also fighting for physically protected bike lanes on the entirety of Valencia. So two really active campaigns right now for two really important streets. Where do people park like in this city? What happens when you have, I mean, seriously, like what's the deal? Self-driving cars gonna solve this? Like, no, what's the plan? no, biking has to be a key. <laughs> biking has to be central to the future of transportation in urban settings, uh, not just for the sustainability of our planet, but for the health of us, for the health of our communities. Has e-bikes changed this at all? Like opened it up? And oh, I mean, they're, they're legal here. You yeah. can ride them anywhere, it yeah. seems like. E-bikes have been a huge improvement for how so many people get around. I was actually just talking to a member of ours named Wendy, who told me without her e-bike, she would be driving all over town. Yeah. And she would not be happy about that. She doesn't want to drive, but just the fact that she has access to an e-bike makes it possible for her to run her daily errands, to uh, you know go meet friends yeah. uh, by bike. So uh, yeah, e-bikes are absolutely crucial, I think, to the uh, future health of our communities. Well, and then these bikes, you know, we're, we're riding some Faradays today, and I like that they're lightweight. So you can carry it up to your apartment if you live upstairs, or kind of pop a wheelie in the elevator, or whatever. I've also seen bike share. And, yeah. you know, we do have BART and stuff too. So if people bring them on BART or do you park it and then take BART and then last mile? Like what's, what do you see a lot in the city? Uh, you know, actually I ride a uh, bike share pretty often cause I commute in from Oakland. Yeah. So uh, the fact that now I can get an e-bike means I can zip so easily from Civic Center BART here to the office. Yeah. Um, and it just makes it so much more fun too. Are there bike cages or something? Like I imagine theft is kind of one of the question marks. Yeah. You know, something we hear, um, we do a survey of our members every couple years or so. And uh, concerns about theft and parking are one of the top concerns for why people who want to bike more yeah. don't bike more. Solutions? Uh, the Bike Coalition working on this? Uh, <laughs> we're working on so many things. Yeah, uh, yeah so um, we know that theft is a multi-million dollar problem in San Francisco. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely crucial that the city delivers more and better bike parking throughout the city. Okay. Uh, and that that's accessible in all communities in San Francisco. Okay. 
Sweet, sweet. So where are we heading off to next? Or is there any other while we're here? So are we heading to the new wheel, guys? So we're gonna ride down the sweet bike lane off Valencia. Sweet, sweet. Yep. We'll uh, navigate around that delivery truck. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and then we were talking yesterday about turning left on 14th. We'll go over to Folsom. Uh, and there, there's a green wave. So it's timed so that you catch all the oh, green lights when you're biking. Yeah, for, uh, for bikes. Totally. That's cool. Yeah, it's great. That was my, that's my old commute to work. And you just like every day, it's, you hop on and like no traffic, no stoplights, no worries. It's just, it's like the best thing. Yeah. Is there also like mass. ever a critical mass or something where everyone gets on their bikes and just takes over? Does that happen in San Francisco? I think that they do still hold events like that. You know, another thing that is going on in, tonight, in fact, first Friday what? of every month is SF Bike Party. Bike party. Oh, Bike uh, Party. So that yeah. is a blast. And the cool thing about Bike Party is they're super committed to following the rules of the road and being nice to yeah. the folks that are sharing the streets with them. Uh, so that's just like a really positive, fun event. To, On that to, note, yeah. I grew up in Colorado and they recently, it sounds like they're passing legislation where a stop sign is like treated like a yield sign for bikes. Oh. Is that something that's going on here at all? You know, there was a push for that in 2015 um, and a, super, um, a majority of the Board of Supervisors did support it, um, but it ended up being vetoed by the person that was then mayor. So oh, wow. um, yeah, not, not, a, not an active campaign of ours right now now yeah. um, but anything that improves safety we're definitely open to hearing about how we can uh, work and e-bikes make it so that this a full stop is a lot easier yeah get, get going again that's so true. you know whatever we'll take, we'll take better bike lanes like all day long and that's that's such a valuable thing I think First to have in the city yeah. yeah I think like e-bikes and bike lanes go hand in hand you can have an e-bike that can make the hills flat and really easy but if you don't feel safe on the road you're not gonna ride your bike so that's you've got to have you gotta have the two and I think it just it's like a it's a great solution it is amazing and I mean you know we see like old with new and getting people out on the bikes, public transportation, because it just is crowded around here. Yeah. Right, it's just, okay, so we're ready when you guys are. Sweet. Sweet, is this your first time on one of these? Yeah, this is my first time riding a third, and they're gorgeous bikes. They really are, yeah. Super light, uh, excited to get going. Let's do it, I'll follow when you're, oh, we got the yellow. But the yellow, that's all right. To uh, reduce. Out of school, Adam? Yeah. Yeah. Like an elementary school or something. It's kind of fun. Yeah, this, uh, this is actually a big family neighborhood, so we're riding through. This is called the Mission now. Oh, yeah. So uh, we've got a really big bike corridor here for one thing, but um, a lot of shops and restaurants and a lot of schools and parks. It's a really nice area. Yeah. So, uh, it's, uh, probably a lot of people riding bikes, probably a lot of e bikes. But uh, yeah, saw a bunch of e bikes go by. Already, when we, yeah. <laughs> just filming a minute ago. You can see over here, this is a coffee shop called Four Barrels. They've got this bike parking right out front here. Oh. So you can come and have a cup of coffee outside and have your bike. Huh. People really, really embrace it, which is nice. That's part of why it's such a great bike city. Yeah. Yeah. The art. I've seen some of the like building art and stuff just driving in. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of murals. Yeah. We have different kind of bikes. Big bikes. Yeah. So, Port, how does this compare to uh, your ride in New York City in terms of infrastructure and traffic? There's a lot more 
yeah, bike lanes here going on. For sure. Definitely sunnier here than it was in San Francisco or in New York. I kind of want to. Yeah. You got room on the couch in the office again. I'll just have to <laughs> adjust my we flight. Can, we can put you up again. <laughs> It'd be a fun ride. But I, I got to pick up my friend from the airport tonight too. Going back to, uh, are you going back to Colorado? Yep, got some stuff going on in Colorado. Yeah, it's nice. There, I've seen some of these bigger bike lanes and stuff. Different parts of Colorado, just you know, all over the world, more bike stuff going on. Yep, yep. And um, this is the the physically separated, like the exactly. divider thing. And you here's that they do that in front of a big bike arch parking spots. Huh. Try to give people a little extra. You see it here on the left. Oh yeah, and so, here uh, too. They'll try to give bikers in a more protected area to pull over and lock up. Nice. When I'm feeling this hill without my Faraday, I'm having to crank. Yeah, it's funny because it doesn't really even feel like we're climbing a hill. Yeah, but, it's yeah. really hard to tell on camera, but it's a, this is a little bit of an incline up Valencia here. Yeah, you've got the, the regular unpowered situation going on right now. Beautiful. Wow, yeah, that tower, I recognize that radio tower. Do you know what that thing's called? That, that's the, um, you know, I'm an Oakland kid, so I'm not as uh, up to snuff, snuff on, on the, the San Francisco landmark. No worries. Just having a crank back there. Beautiful houses. All those painted ladies. What's going on? The, those are called painted ladies, that style of oh. San Francisco. Painted ladies, yeah. that makes sense. Hmm. Chop drawer. We got mountain bikers. Yep, these guys. There is some riding in that area. Here, I'm gonna let you go. Ah, oh, bye. Missed him. Ah, oh, this bike share spot's getting a lot of use. Yeah, maybe people pick them up here and then they drop them off at another spot kind of situation. Yeah, yeah and it's a pretty popular tourist strip that we're on right here as well. So it could just be a lot of people checking them out for rides around the neighborhood. Yeah, that makes sense. Fancy church over there. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh boy. keeping up with traffic pretty well too it seems yeah. like and this 
is actually, we mentioned uh, the green wave. Is this the green wave? Yeah, it this keeps turning on, green. Uh, <laughs> that's actually on a street over on Folsom, so we can check that out on the way back. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're wow. getting good and lucky with time in here. Yeah. And then that, uh, that hill is where we're going. Are we going up there? Yeah. Whoa. So we'll put, uh, put these e-bikes to use. I haven't been back in San Francisco for at least a year. Really? Yeah, especially the city. Like I'll go to the South Bay yeah. Peninsula and stuff, but yeah, it's great. Since you've been here, Ford Go Bikes has introduced electric bike share. Yeah. Uber has bought an electric bike sharing company. Oh, I've heard about that, yeah. What do you know about that? Um, yeah, I mean, just as much as Read in, read in the press, but... Top secret. Yeah. Well, it was, you know, I think part of it, frankly, is just Uber recognizing the potential for bikes and the limitations of growth of car sharing, yeah. ride sharing in cities. Right. And so they're kind of seeing the future of bike sharing as yep. a way to compete in that market. Is it like the Uber Eats thing, but they also do it with bikes? I don't know if they're doing Uber Eats delivery on bikes yet, but same same concept. Are there bike delivery, bike messengers here, like that deliver food and stuff? Yeah, there's Caviar, a number of um, other companies that do that. Yeah. In addition to Uber Eats. Uh, bike share, right? A lot of them are resistant well, to e-bikes though. The bike, bike share? Uh, couriers doing delivery. I wonder why. Like in New York City, that's what everyone uses. Right, yeah. I think here it's, see me struggling up this the Is this a single speed? <laughs> Oh man, sorry yeah, buddy. Crap on Chris's bike. I'll take my time. This take is why we have eight, eight gears on our bike. I'm enjoying the, the relaxed seating position, <laughs> not having to stand up. <laughs> You're doing a great job, man. They, that's why I they pick the, my exercise in. pick the fit guy to yeah. do the, the non-e bike. Just keep going up. Cool. kind of switching gears down to give myself an easier cadence. I think there's like a, a circus school around here, off to the right somewhere. Yeah, a circus school. Oh, wow. And my friend helped to run it. Just a beautiful area. Yeah, this is, this is a climb right here now. This is gonna get, yeah, right up here on the corner. <laughs> Are we losing? Ah, no problem up the hill. No problem. Look at that. Beautiful. Is your house like around here, Adam? Well, it used to be right there. Yeah, I thought this looked familiar. This is where your old house was, right? Old yeah. I was like sleeping on your empty <laughs> house. That's like right when you moved in. I know, yeah. There was no furniture in there or anything. Yeah, it was a good place. I miss the old neighborhood, but I still come here to visit the new wheel, so it's all good. Yeah. It's a pretty compelling neighborhood to have an e-bike shop. I mean, it's a perfect neighborhood. The parking is terrible. The hills are gigantic. Uh, San Francisco is a stone's throw away, but even, you know, my old commute was four miles long. So not that far, but at the very end of it, we had to come up that hill. And that, at the end of the day, was just brutal. I and mean, you can see Thomas back there on his single speed with no motor is just gone. We lost him. We lost Thomas. Poor Thomas. This is not, this is not the perfect no. stretch for a single speed. That's a world of difference. And that's anyone who ever asks, oh, can that front home motor get up those hills? I just... Yeah, right we just did it. I mean, that was steep, but what, what degree radius or ratio was that hill? Like a 30 know. degree hill or something? I don't know. Yeah, 30, but it's pretty steep. No, the hills are significant. What hills though? What, what hills? <laughs> <laughs> what hills? You doing okay on the e-bike over there? Doing great, barely breaking a sweat. Sweet, yeah, I mean. Got my jacket on, like 80 like a, degree day. Like marketing poster shot. Right <laughs> jacket on, 
<laughs> Sunglasses, helmet looking good. <laughs> Great ride, man. In Europe, I think the top uh, motor power is like 250 watts, like nominal maybe. Yep. Um, so, and that's what these are. So in the United States, we have like 500 and sometimes even 750. But for, you know, if you're willing to pedal a little bit. You know also too, that when the bike is lighter, you just don't need as much power, right? Yep. It's like a car, right. like you don't need a V8 in a little coupe because things just a little sporty, fun little thing. So right, yeah. kind of the same analogy with bikes. How tall are you? How much do you weh Adam? I am 6'1", <laughs> embarrassed as no, uh, 175. 175, okay, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to get that. I'm 135 and like 5'9", so I'm always like, I, I've been losing like, weight, man. I've been like working out. <laughs> no, you're, you're bigger than me, yeah, but you did just fine on this thing. It was fun to watch. Right. We're still waiting for Thomas. He might have had a heart attack. Yeah, he's... Yeah. <laughs> ride, you're riding on electric bike in San Francisco, you'll have a heart attack. He's, he, good thing he's fit. Yep, yeah. thanks. Prius. Nice. Have that easy full stop. Avenue, which is what we named our Cortland bike. After. Oh, that's what this is named after. Our namesake. Yep. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Whoa. So iconic, iconic, very big hill here in San Francisco and beautiful neighborhood, so it seemed appropriate for, for this bike. That's the name of that bike. Oh, and there's a the new wheel. <laughs> you turned uh, He beat oh, us. us. Yeah. Nice, dude. <laughs> Woo! You Man, I had to hill? work for it. No, I had to give up. Yeah. <laughs> I had to give up. That's brutal. I was doing it. I tried to keep it as long as I could. It's been years since I was at this location, but yeah, yeah this was their, their still first going, shop. Still going strong, yeah, they're doing great. So this is, you guys, I'm sure you know, this yeah. is the new wheel here in uh, uh, Bernal Heights, San Francisco. Um, one of our... Uh-oh, we got a car alarm situation. It's lovely, uh, never happens on a bike. <laughs> uh, so one of our favorite retailers, great shop. These guys really set the bar, I think, for, for great e-bike retail here in the US, and we're really proud and honored to be a partner and a longtime partner with them. Um, and going better than ever, so. You can go in there and say hey to them? Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Thanks, Thomas. Do, do, do. Dry off a little bit out here. There you go. Sweet, you got a whole bunch of Reese and Mueller stuff, cargo bikes. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Love little balance bikes. This is a great way to get the kids started versus training wheels, right? And get the balance all set up. Sweet. There we go. Is that Brett back there? Oh, I'm looking at the back of someone's head. Nice. I don't want to distract him. He's working on. Are you comfortable on camera? Sweet, what's your name? I'm Alistair. Alistair. Yeah. Sweet, nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. It's hard not to know for it in, from, uh, if you're in the in the, in the the e-bike game at all. So, yeah. The man who's made a million videos. Yeah. It's been, yeah, and this is one of the early spots. I came by and checked things out years ago. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, Brett's, uh, Brett and then you know, his wife, Karen, by default, you know, got, got in this early in 2010. Um, yeah. Is Being that here, them calling? What's going possibly, on? Possibly, I don't know. The, this, I'll let the, our other store, other store pick, up pick it up. You guys are busy. Yeah. You've been growing. It's pretty packed. And down in the basement, you got even more bikes, right? It's uh, yeah, we have, I don't know, Yeah, a lot of bikes on hand. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been really busy so far, and we're only getting to the start of summer. So um, wow. exciting times, for sure. It is. Are the uh, the fair days doing okay? I mean, you know, we rode over on them and stuff, and I see a couple featured here. Do you know we were coming? Oh, yeah. Like, is that yeah? Fair? Yeah, they let us know there. You guys are going to be stopping by, but yeah, the fair days are always popular. Um, I mean, we have one right in the front outside too. Uh, um, it, yeah, people. I mean, the, you just have to look at it, and it kind just of the tells, beauty tells you everything right there. And, the yeah, weight. lots of lots of happy people on those. Um, yeah. What else has been popular here for you guys? 
I saw like extra wheels a long time ago because it's kind of the cargo, and now several companies Certainly have cargo, cargo bikes. Certainly, cargo bikes are really becoming like racing popular. Miller with um, the big bucket bikes. The, reason, the front loading reason Millers are, are really cool. Um, the, we're really excited for the Turn GSD. Oh, um, yeah, the get be, stuff done by Yeah, it. yeah, that should be super exciting. We had a pre production prototype here for a little while, and that was, yeah, really cool. You're in it. Like, out. this is the zone. Yeah, there's a lot of innovation happening in the Bay Area. The, with bikes and. But yeah, yeah, and a lot of you, I mean, just ride at commute times, you'll see so many, so many parents out with their kids on. Um, on cargo bikes. They so. have a little tarpaulin because it rains here. Some sometimes. people, yeah. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, it hasn't. Yeah, this past winter is a little wet. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, it's not super rainy here, so maybe not totally required. It gets a little chilly sometimes. But, Very cool. Um, yeah, cargo bikes are big. This is also like kind of the lead up to the beginning of the school st school year. Oh. Um, is is when people start exploring new options for getting kids to school. That's good um, stuff. So that's uh, that's still as big, but yeah, the, the reason all this stuff in general. Like, like you mentioned, is, is, is really, um, yeah, really, they make some great bikes, as I'm sure you, you They you do, you right. You know. yeah, yeah, some high quality stuff. Yeah. And I see Gazelle here. So, yeah, you know, Faraday being part of the Kong group, we were talking about that Stromer. Um, it's great stuff, man. I'm just glad to see the shops looks as beautiful as ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, yeah. Going, going well in our, our little space. I know we have more, some more space at our other store in Marin. But, uh, and you guys also do some here. great videos. So you have the new wheel like YouTube channel. Right, yeah, Brent and Karen and our, yeah, our video producer, Mark. Yeah, yeah they yeah, put together some really awesome videos. Of, yeah, they were, I don't know if, I think there's still some new stuff coming in the, in the pipeline. So, Sweet, yeah. top secret. Uh, well, I think all this, I know. New stuff. Are there new bikes? I don't think there's any secret new bikes coming. But yeah, <laughs> all good. Um, yeah. yeah. Sweet man. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I want to see if there's anything else we're trying to capture while we're here. Appreciate you going to camera. Oh, of course. Yeah. No. Wait, is this the, do you have one of those midnight blue bikes? Huh? We do. Yeah. They have the like okay. running blue. Oh, so we should try it out. Hey, you gonna go give it a go? Do you have a helmet? What's that? Oh yeah. Here's the Faraday he was talking about. Featured right out front. It's beautiful. <laughs> Looking great. Very nice. It's the one with the. Oh, this look at that! Really cool. A little peekaboo. <laughs> Have you noticed uh, like more people getting on bikes because of the work the Bike Coalition's doing here? Oh yeah, I mean, you, you just look at the number of people that are out there riding at commute hours. Um, yeah, it's like Market Street becomes like a bicycle freeway. Basically, it's it's really cool to like, be out and like be like part of that crowd when it happens. Um, uh, so, and I think it, it's also like I mean the tons of bike sharing stuff is coming up too. Like the jump bikes is is really big, but the Ford Go bike stuff too. And I think yeah, that's an e-bike, um, like a Gen Z powered electric bike. Yeah, the the uh, the yeah the Ford Go bikes are there's a that's a Gen Z one, and I don't know what the jump bikes are. Um, but like I think, well, obviously those bikes are there. But then the uh, the people feel comfortable riding them. We're having a little play date over here. Who is this? Is That's this Olive? That's my dog. This is your dog. Oh my gosh! Hello. How are you? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh! What kind of dog is this? Some she's sort of. A, she's a Pomeranian. Pomeranian. And she gets her her chariot. She gets to ride. Them is this your bike? Them. That's my bike. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. dude. That's, she's like, I'm ready to go home, take a nap. No, are you ready to go already? Well, you got uh, <laughs> another few hours, sorry. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, man, this is great. It's good to know that the work that's being done, because like right here, I don't see the protected bike lanes or the green lanes yet. In, in Bernal Heights, it's probably pretty tricky. You'd see the sides of the streets here. Um, I don't know, yeah, actually, Chris might be a good, good person to ask in terms of what's planned out here, but yeah. certainly down like in parts of, you know, the heavy traffic areas downtown, there's, there's more and more um, good bicycle like either painted lanes or separated bike lanes um, yeah. um, happening which is which is really good and I think it helps make people be, obviously bikes are very available now but it <laughs> helps make it really people feel really comfortable getting onto bikes and, and absolutely them, so absolutely. it does help a lot Chris what's the plan for painted lanes here in Vernal Heights man I'm looking where's the green at there needs to be a lot more green, not just these trees, but it'd be really nice to have some better bike lanes up here, huh? Yeah, well, slow and steady, right? Making progress oh, in the, the main zones downtown. Every corner of San Francisco. 
sweet. Keep yeah. up the great work. Well, How people. can people get involved? You have a website or what's the... Yeah, I mean, anytime you want to get involved in something, Bikey in San Francisco, sfbike.org, you'll find all of our latest campaigns. And uh, we would love for anybody who wants to support more and better bike lanes uh, to become a member or even just like come out to a city meeting and speak up for more and protect more and better bike lanes because that's how we win is people coming together. Yeah. I can make a plug. I just renewed. I got a friendly reminder from, hey. a, from a volunteer <laughs> and, uh, and I renewed my memberships. It's really easy to do. And these guys yeah, like do a great job yeah. of getting information out there. They don't overwhelm you. It's not spammy. But if you want to get involved, participate, go to cool events, whether it's for like fun party type stuff yeah, or if party. you want to get involved, like <laughs> all that good stuff. Like they're doing it all. So. Okay. Thanks for doing man. Okay. So we're heading out from the new wheel. We're going to go on to a hill. Some other hills. Vernal Hill. <laughs> Lead on, Vernal Hill. Yeah, Adam, what is, the, what is that, um, the name of that hill? Is it Telegraph Hill with that uh, satellite on top of it that, we, that you see on the way up here? Over, over the there. antenna? Uh, the Sutro Tower. Is that Sutro Tower? Yeah, Sutro Tower. Sutro Tower? You mean like across the way? Yeah. Is that really way. tall thing that you can see? It's like the tallest point in San Francisco. So Twin Peaks. Sutro. Cool. Uh, so that's kind of like, people think, if you're like, visiting San Francisco from somewhere else, you think of like Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. But if you live here in San Francisco, the landmark that like, that defines San Francisco for you, the thing you think about is Sutro Tower. Okay. So you see folks with like Sutro tattooed on their arm and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So that's like the local, now I've given the secret away, but that's the local. Good to know. The local icon. It's actually, it's a really cool ride up there for another day. Maybe we we'll saw some mountain bikers and that's why I was like, I think they were maybe yeah. doing yeah, some off-road up there. there. There's some dirt up there, so. Lead, the lead on, I think this we might be. Go, actually, I guess we'll go to the next one. Hang on, left. Okay. This is gonna get, this is gonna get steep. This hill gets nasty. Good to know. But, review, we're gonna ride. Yeah. A super steep hill. Whoa, at the very end there. The very end, very end really picks up. This is already, you know, this would already be quite a bit of work. This is, yeah, even this is not a, the funny thing is like a, uh, a small hill in San Francisco is a mountain somewhere else. Yeah, so for real. Our perspective, I think, for, for hills. And I'm in, I don't know, gear four or something right now, so I'm kind of in the middle. Yeah. I'm probably going to want to switch down. Cruising, uh, cruising speed. I think I've reviewed bikes on this street before. I bet you have. Lean them up against the houses. If you went from the new wheel, I'm sure you have. And then a stop sign going uphill, and that's killer. That's the work. You gotta like <laughs> lose your lose your momentum. Here we go, everyone's switching down. <laughs> Not struggling quite so much, huh? It really is a beautiful day. It's gonna be an awesome view. Disc brakes are working pretty well here. the steep part and they go I'm gonna take it easy yeah it's nice you don't even have to stand up but that stops gonna be quite the challenge <laughs> now he's standing up okay wish me luck oh, I can hear it like almost losing traction Not standing up. 
Made it. Proud of myself. Not bad. And I have sensitive knees, so to get that extra support, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd certainly be out of breath. Can we find it? I think we're going to get stuck carrying them up. I think it's just a staircase at the end. Oh, that's fine. But we can take turns carrying it. Sweet. Dead end. Hill. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. We found a staircase, but we ran out of road. <laughs> we want to get up there for the fun photos and the view. This one's up here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still sitting and managing this. This is super steep. Yeah. We did it. Score your beef. Okay, well this is where Wow. This is where a lightweight e-bike. No, this is yeah, look at that. Right? I can uh You gonna help out since yeah. I got the camera? Here I'll come. You go ahead and thank you so much. Chase Adam. <laughs> this is the true gravel experience court. And that's where yeah, big knobby tires. That's what you were saying on the gravel. Saying, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Here we go. This is where we were trying to go. We're actually still doing really well in terms of battery, and you can see now the e ink. So we've lost two bars. Are there 10 bars total? 14. 14? 14 bars. What do you divide? 100 divided by 14. Oh my gosh. Nine <laughs> something. <laughs> so we've taken about, yeah, 15% off? Nice. 15%? We got a ways to go. Not bad. I, yeah, this is nice. Before we couldn't see the e ink quite as well because it was full. Yep. So this is what it looks like when, and Adam had a Take good a instinct. Off. He shut it off before he handed it to me. That was a good idea. Yep. Safe and get course. carried away. Can I swap back onto Absolutely. this one? Absolutely. Here you go. Sweet. There she is. Look, same thing over here. Two bars. So they're very consistent. That's climbing. I, how many miles do you think we've gone, guys? I don't know. Three? No, two and it's, well, it's four from the office, so probably four and a half. Yeah. Four and a half miles? Yeah. Two bars out of 14? Yeah. Sweet. We got, we got range for days, Corn. Lead on. Range for days. So we're just gonna hang on left here, just follow me. Okay. A little more gravel. Nice. There's also dog watching paradise up here. It's a oh. super popular dog walking spot. A lot of puppies? Yeah, you can come up here and just check out the all the fancy dogs of Vernal. It's fun, right? This is uh, this is super lucky, Court. Just how clear of a day it is here. Don't have any of that famous fog clouding our view. Thomas is saying we're really lucky because there's not a lot of fog. Whoa! And a blimp to boot. Really? Is that the good year? This is nice. This is really nice. Yeah. Oh man, we get everything. So, all right, let's, let's check it out. So, I'll hold your bike. You can hop over the fence here. Thank you. We're gonna give it a whole tour of San Francisco. Wow. Oh, there's a tree swing. Whoa. Yep. That's rad. <laughs> tree swing. Bring your, bring your sweetie. Bring your kids. Sweet. Uh, so let's see. That's the Golden Gate Bridge over there. There it is. Yeah. See the Golden two arches Gates. over there. So. Yeah. The ocean, that Sutro Tower we talked about. Just That's the one the I kept right seeing there. with the mountain bikers earlier. Mm -hmm. the mountain now, bikers. now, wait a minute, Adam. You have like the cream colored Faraday Porter that was like the original color and it has those yeah. gold stripes. Is yeah. that international orange? That's or international orange? Yes. Yeah. Is it inspired by the Golden Gate Bridge? It is totally. So the whole color palette of that bike, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but hmm. the um, the white on that portrait was so the brand colors. The white is what you would typically see here, which is the fog covering the whole city. Ah, yeah. Uh, happily not here today. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's Carl the Fog, our, our, our beloved SF Fog is where we picked the white from. And then totally the international orange from the Golden Gate Bridge is that orange stripe. And uh, the green, that mint seafoam green, mm -hmm. um, which is actually what the new Cortland color is too, yeah. is um, from, uh, from Rock Lobster, from Paul Sadoff down in Santa Cruz. It's his racing color. So he was our Whoa. original frame builder, kind of design inspiration. Um, 
bike genius who helped us build this great bike and, and that's that's fantastic. tribute to Paul. So. There's where we were in traffic, Thomas, the other day. Remember? Right there. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is prime prime congestion watching uh, territory here. Yeah. Feeling pretty good now. Just relaxed. And then let's, this is cool too. So right here you see the the street with all the trees. Yeah, right yeah. There? What's that? That is a uh, Folsom Street. So you might heard Chris from the Bike Coalition talking about Folsom. Mm -hmm. This is kind of one of the big bike uh, corridors from the south part of the city here up north if you're going into the financial district or anywhere else. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful just kind of boulevard with the trees and two just great bike lanes. That's the green wave he talked about. Oh. So the whole street is timed. So you can ride from here. Well, actually, we'll ride down that. Um, it's really nice. But you can basically ride without almost without hitting a stop sign all the way uh, or stop by into the city. Really nice. And where's the? where did we ride from? Can you like... So we are, we're like that flat area in there. You see all the big buildings? That's yeah, downtown. Yeah, right before downtown. Below that, the flat area, that's kind of Soma right there. So okay. we're, actually that hill right there with the, the trees on it yeah. is Petreo Hill. Petreo, so yeah. So we're like, we're basically right on the other side of that. That's awesome. Um, and we got the Bay Bridge that goes to Treasure Island, yeah. which maybe they're going to put some houses on it here, something like that. Yeah, it's happening, I think. Happening and, and then you get a bike lane. From Oakland to the can you? Is there a bike lane? I heard there. It's like there's bike lane halfway. Halfway to the so island. So from <laughs> Oakland to the island. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think you can. I, maybe soon or already you can take a ferry from Treasure Island with your bike. I don't. I don't. Yeah, maybe. I think it's coming. If yeah, it's not, if it's coming. not there now. We so. were talking about taking a ferry because the the new wheel has another store over in Marin. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Uh, so we didn't we didn't end up doing it. We were focused on some other bikes and stuff, but it's a Larkspur way, just Larkspur. way out there in the distance. Yeah, um, it's great ferry, that you can get there. Ferry to Alameda. Mm -hmm. uh, East Bay. So pretty much actually all throughout the bay, you can take a ferry across the water. Mm -hmm. And a ferry is a really, really great bike for that because it's light, easy to pick up, put on the ferry, um, easy to get to and from. Um, so really good for kind of the multimodal kind of transport solution here in the Bay. It's fantastic. It really fits into this environment well. But, so I used to live here and I worked downtown in the financial district at like one Embarcadero or something like that. Yeah. And there are new buildings since then. So there's that like, is that Salesforce, that like tube kind yeah, of building? Super tall one. Yeah. Yep. And then there's like that condos that were kind of sinking for a while and yeah. they like had to yep. figure that out. Did still, they figure that out? No, it's still, still sinking. sinking. Yeah. Still sinking. Oh man. Tilt tilting. More than sinking. <laughs> it's the tilting tower of San Francisco. Yep. Yep. Apparently, wow. Yeah, the skyline is changing. A lot of, Some a lot of construction. Butterflies going on. I, feel, I just love the, you know, San Francisco is, is rad, you guys. Thank you so much. It's been a super, just a super treat, like getting out here and, and spending some time riding along. Well, fun to have an excuse to get out of the office and ride bikes. <laughs> right? Come, come again. Welcome back from, <laughs> Thank you. from your trip. Thank you. This has been huge. You guys, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed cruising around with us in San Francisco. Sound off with any questions and stuff. It was neat to, you know, the, obviously this is kind of teaming up with Faraday because they had the bikes and we were reviewing the, the new kind of Civic Limited. So keep an eye out for that one. I'll be posting on the website at some point. Have fun out there. Just ride safe and enjoy life. And let, wait, let me give a shout quick too. Do right? it, so do come, it. Come visit us here, first off. Come to San Francisco, it's a beautiful place. If you do, let us know, get a hold of one of our dealers, we'll get you on a bike. Cool. Explore, do what we did, do all this today. And if you're not in San Francisco, go check out one of our dealers anyway. Try a Faraday, do this, Yeah. take a video, send it to court, show us, show <laughs> us you riding a Put Faraday. it in the We'd forums, yeah, that. we have Put a Faraday forum. forum. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's our call to action for you guys. You have dealers all over the all over country, the place, right? The yeah, yeah, I've seen in the mountains in Colorado. Any oh, other yeah. shout outs, yeah. like locations people should be keeping an eye out for? States? I mean, the best thing is our website. You have a it's map, a great right? dealer locator. Yeah, new website coming out any day now. Um, it's all there. And we can't, more than anything, we encourage you to go ride a Faraday. So right. find one of our great local shops, whether it's here in California, out in New York, uh, Tennessee. I mean, it's hard to name a state. We don't have a dealer. So find a shop, try a Faraday. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, go ride a bike. Fantastic. Thomas. Yeah, thanks, Court. Thanks you for did a great by, job. Yeah. Thanks for coordinating Absolutely. all this. We're making our way down now. So beautiful. There's the tower Adam was talking about. <laughs> Just get outside, ride your bike, make some
some friends. That's what life's about. This is all one-handed disc brake stopping. <laughs> Thanks. One-handed hydraulic brakes on a super steep hill. <laughs> right, and this one does have the hydraulic brakes. Yeah. It's yeah. Got, it's got some stopping power. So it's just the Faraday Port Tour. All right. So I would I would encourage two-handed riding down this next spot. We're gonna do a pretty steep ride down into the city. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away then. <laughs> 